Don't let your electronic devices kick your butt. Let Chuck Fresh, the PC GYN, help you get in control of your computer skills. Here's Chucky with Computer Care Clinic's Tip of the Day. Today's tip doesn't have anything to do with computers, but I just have to tell you, I love my Dyson. I've got a Dyson ball, and I love, come here, me and her, we go way back, you know what I mean? But if your Dyson doesn't suck, or if it sucks, maybe your Dyson sucks, but it didn't used to suck, but I don't know, I get all confused with vacuum cleaners because they're supposed, you know what I'm talking about. If it's not sucking right, let's put it that way, then these are the couple things you want to look at to fix your Dyson ball. We've got a Dyson Ball DC-25. It's an animal. Rawr! And as most people they probably don't know, that you're supposed to wash filters every three months of here. There's even a sticker on here that actually I've never seen because you never look at it. I've got it on a table now, but you never see it this high. So I'll show you how to take the filter out, and we'll take a look at that. And I've got a feeling it's a problem, and we probably haven't looked at this in six months to a year. So let's see what we've got. Now to remove the filter, we've got to take the um, bagless storage area off and you can see here it says filter A. Now there are two filters on these bad boys so you kind of reach down and kind of lift this guy up. It's hard to do it one-handed. Pop it up and you see you've got a filter here with little spigots on it. And he's kind of lift it up and look underneath here. It looks okay on this side but you really can't see anything until you get underneath it. And you can look at the side of it. It's very dusty and if you turn it over, aha! No wonder this thing sucks, or doesn't suck, or isn't sucking. So what you need to do is pull all this schmutz off. You really don't want this in your sink, otherwise you'll be calling a plumber. and He's probably a little bit more expensive than the vacuum cleaner repairman. Just pull all this hair and dust off over a trash can, and then take it and wash it this way with a sink. And I'll let it dry for about 24 hours to get all the dirt and schmutz out of here. I'm actually going to pull this out and I'm going to take it outside and uh, pound it on the sidewalk a couple times to make sure I get all the dust out of there. Hopefully you're downwind when you're banging this thing out because look at all the gunk in here. Oh, that's nasty. I'm going to go hide in here. So this thing is still disgusting, so I'm going to take it and uh, wash it out now and try to get the rest of this stuff out of here. Remember, let it dry for about, well, they recommend 24 hours. You could... Probably do it a little bit less, but you should probably let it rest for a, and dry for a full day. Now, apparently this Dyson animal has another filter that actually I wasn't aware of, and it's located in this crazy ball here. Here you see a button here. If you press that, this should pop open. You kind of weasel this guy back, and look at that. There's another filter, which I have actually never seen before. It looks like you got to lift this here, and this should lift out. And this is equally as nasty. It doesn't look that bad in here. But uh, this guy needs to be washed out once every six months also. So we're going to take this guy and uh, do the same deal. Run it under warm tap water, and uh, wash her out, and let it sit for 24 hours. You might as well take it apart and check your beater bar. If you've got crazy stuff in here like wire ties and teenage girl hair, that could definitely affect the performance of your Dyson also. So to take it apart, it's actually not too difficult. Just take a screwdriver or a coin or something and switch this little screw to the unlock position. You'll feel it click. And then you can kind of twist this and you can pull this bad boy out. So instead of digging in there and trying to clean it manually, you can easily cut the hair off. Just be careful not to cut the uh, the brushes here. And this one's a disaster. So I was wondering why we weren't being able to get stuff out of the carpet. There's all kinds of junk on here. Ew. So now that my filters are dry, they still look kind of gnarly though. I figured this one should be more white like it is on the other side. I may end up just replacing this. But uh, we'll try it again for now and see if we have any difference in suction. She hates Dyson products. So this filter goes in the base by the motor. And it should kind of snap in right about here. And it does perfectly. 
And then don't forget to put your cover back on. And it only goes, hey, it actually says filter. I've never looked at this thing that close. Just kind of pop that in and line it up. Yep, that goes in first. This little blue tab goes in there, apparently. So you can press it out. That goes in there. And she snaps right in perfectly. Now we got to look at the other guy on the um, bagless container. We also pulled this thing out of its container here because it had a bunch of dust and hair and stuff attached to it too. So you can clean all this junk out of here too. Make sure you got a real good clean filter for optimal suction. Make sure there's no sneaky things hiding in there. Boo! Just kidding. And uh, we'll put that filter back in now. And then this, look for the filter A. This kind of lifts up and pops up there. Make sure that's fairly clean too. And then this guy drops right in here. Should only fit in the same way, which was like exactly like so. And this should click shut. And that goes back on your base. It's right in there. Match that guy up. Make sure you got a nice tight seal. Click it in good there. And let's give her a whirl. See what we got. Sounds different. Uh oh. Come here, puppy. What happened? Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Go. I'm not sure if dog bites are covered under the warranty. It's just a vacuum cleaner, buddy. It's okay. What happened? What happened? It's just a Dyson. You're more of a Hoover fan? What happened? So that's how you clean out your Dyson filters. I'm Chuck Fresh. This is Computer Care Clinic's tip of the day.